all right so now that we have this I've also gone ahead to copy the remaining pictures right and uh, what we have is I've repeated the same process for all four of them right so we have them now I'm going to come back here and from on splash on splash.com where we can get free high quality images I'm gonna pick this one for delivery so let me just open that up and I'll right click and copy if I download it's going to be quite large and I don't really need it in that uh, high resolution so I'm gonna come here and I'll paste Ctrl V it's still very large I would hold down shift and I would uh, resize the image so holding shift and resizing it and there are different ways to achieve this but this is just the way that I'm showing you so don't think this is the only way to do this I'm gonna hit enter and I'll reduce the opacity just so I can uh, do this all right so let me increase that back all right so we have this line and this line basically inside of the line is what we want to be valid so we still move this up a bit because we have we have a bit of space there all right let me zoom that in so everything that is inside this red line is what we want to appear all right so what we're going to do is we're going to for this particular red uh, dotted lines in here we are going to cut along the lines for our new image so this is the image we brought in and we're going to cut across the dotted lines uh, carefully it's going to take a while but it's doable and uh, so along the dotted uh, red lines so we're just going to do something like this until we're done um, if we invest 10-15 uh, minutes we should be able to complete all of them so I'm just going to demo and show you how this one works and then I would uh, do the rest and when next we connect you would see how everything looks but basically this is the process it's quite straightforward uh, just select along the dotted lines outside the lines in this case now right outside the line and uh, So move quickly. There are different ways to achieve this. So if you make a mistake, you just want to press the delete key and it will take you a step backwards. Alright, so the different ways to achieve this, but this is a process that I'm using. You might find an easier way. There are a lot of Photoshop pros out there. What we want to do is to get more people to be able to move from point A to point B uh, with basic knowledge not advanced stuff right so okay we're almost done okay so now that I finished my selection what I'm going to do is this layer is selected right so I'm going to copy and paste ctrl C ctrl V when I turn this one off we are going to have this one displayed in here and we still have our red dotted lines there so when I zoom out this is what we're going to have right okay so now I'm going to export this in PNG format right so I come to Photoshop I say export and I'm going to pick this one but it's still going to push out in PNG format and on the folder, I'm going to say this is the image for logistics, the logistics uh, industry, right? So I'll come here and uh, we're going to pick another industry. So we'll pick manufacturing. So I'll come into my browser and I'll close this. Remember, we're in on splash. Uh, so I'll type in 
manufacturing is going to bring up images uh, that relates to manufacturing and then we can pick one and repeat the same process that we did for the uh, previous uh, the previous one right so I think I like this one so what I'm gonna do is I'll copy this image I'll come back into Photoshop I'll paste hit ctrl T so we can transform this into a smaller a smaller image I'll press enter and basically I want to move it under here so I can see the dotted lines if I zoom in you would see the dotted lines it's a bit painted so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to reduce the opacity of this right so I can see the dotted lines and I can cut along and you know the process I'm going to start cutting so we'll pick this tool right here and you click drag and basically we're cutting outside the dotted lines remember and we should repeat this process for a couple more industries and we're good to go i think we have about 10 industries and uh, then we're good to go so i'll just do this one again and let's see how it works exactly mistake all right so i'll just increase our opacity back we have our shape already and i would say ctrl c ctrl v and what that does as before is we now have this uh, nicely put into that box so if we zoom out this is what we're going to have yet again i'm just going to export and we'll save it in png format and i'll name this manufacturing and i'll save so i'll do the same for every single one of them okay so now that i've created all of our images uh, what I'm going to do is I'll come back right into the page editor and I don't need this section what I want is the moment people land in the page they can start saying immediately what they can build without uh, going into much stories so I'm going to create uh, a full a whole division above the, the one that is first there and I'm going to click on the plus sign and let's make this Four columns right so now we have four columns inside of this row and what I'm going to do is click on the plus sign in the first one and I will drag the image uh, the, the, this image stuff into it right so when I click here let me just upload all of our images Okay, with the exception of these two so I'm just going to upload all of them Okay, so now that we have it all uploaded, let's uh, begin to pick one after the other. So the first one is warehousing, right? So we're going to click on insert media and in the caption, I would say custom caption and then all right, warehousing. And here I'm going to pick image again. Sorry, I'll drag that in here and I would click here and this one is TV or radio stations so I'm gonna say custom caption
okay and I'll click here for the plus sign and I'll add image here and I'll select this one which is travel you can see that there and I'll say custom and I'll put it here travel I'll repeat here so I'm gonna drag it in here and this should be transportation So we're just going to do this, uh, transportation. Now, okay, so now that we have that, Okay, so we're still at it, right? And, uh, 
So what I'm doing basically is instead of recreating this whole thing, I just right click here and I duplicate section. So now that we have it here again, I just switch the images and the right top, for instance, this one is FinTech to the new one. So and then we just rinse and repeat. This was FinTech, so this is file sharing okay so I've added all of our images now right so I've just clicked on update and when it's done updating I'm going to preview okay so let's preview now and you see the nice fading effect all right with the industry just listed below it okay so that looks nice and it shows you the kind of apps and websites you can build using strata so all of those are effectively covered in our courses so what i'm going to do right now is just for the sake of it i'm going to randomize it for instance these two uh, they're the same shapes and oh, we could just leave them in a way doesn't really matter does it all right so there you go now I'm going to delete this section this particular section I'm going to delete it and then I'm going to talk a little bit about why people should build with us or learn with us rather we're going to have a video here so I'm not taking it out and uh, Basically, let's just edit the page. So I'll go back into our page editor and this section is not needed anymore. So I'm just going to remove it and we'll do a bit of write up. Okay, guys, so we're done editing our page and uh, this is what it looks like. So I've added this here and all of this has been added. I've also edited our page content you know how to do all of this it's quite straightforward when you click on any of the section the options show up to the left side and you can pretty much edit anything you want so this is what our page looks like currently we we'll still need to create content for this particular aspect we have a video in the works which would be uploaded here so this is what it currently looks like now i've updated it i'm going to click here so we can preview it let's just give it some time to load okay so that's what it looks like it says built for any industry we have warehousing streaming real estate tv or radio and all of them they're listed here nicely and you can see whichever sector you want to build for and then we we'll have nice counters here and another section to further buttress our message we we'll have a video here and uh, all of this and then a call to action at the bottom of the page so that's basically what this page looks like and we're going to work on the courses now